Since January 2002, more than 300 million Europeans have been using the euro for all kinds of transactions. But how does it work? Firstly, who can be part of the eurozone? All EU member states, with the exception of Denmark and the UK, who negotiated opt-outs, have to adopt the single currency and join the eurozone. Secondly, what criteria must be met to enter the eurozone? Well, there are four entry criteria, a set of economic indicators known as the convergence criteria or the Maastricht criteria. These were signed as part of the treaty on 7th of February 1992. The criteria include rules for inflation and limits for public debt and the public deficit, for exchange rate stability and interest rate convergence. When a member state joins the Eurozone, it is required to comply with the Stability and Growth Pact and the Convergence Criteria. Member states' gross government debt cannot exceed 60% and the annual debt must be kept to a maximum 3% of GDP. Eurozone members must also keep inflation under control. When a member state violates the deficit or debt thresholds, it may be subject to an excessive deficit procedure. If a country is placed in the Excessive Deficit Procedure, or EDP, it has to comply with a set of recommendations made by the Council to correct the situation. If the Member State then fails to comply, the Council may impose financial sanctions on the recommendation of the Commission. Such sanctions will not be implemented if they are rejected by qualified majority of Member States. So how much can these fines reach? A Eurozone country that is newly placed in EDP has to put down 0.2% of its GDP as a deposit. This acts as a guarantee and will be taken as a fine if the member state does not then take effective action to comply with the initial recommendations for the correction of its deficit. Can a member leave the Eurozone and go back to its national currency? The European treaties forbid Eurozone countries from being kicked out against their will. However, there is currently no legal instrument defining how a state can leave the Euro if it wishes to. So who's in the driving seat of the Eurozone? Well, it's a body known as the European Central Bank. But the role of the ECB is a whole other story.